Chit, 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 chill. You already know it's your boy Joe back out of the gang coding phase.com. Your boy is back it out and did it again one more time. You already know what I do out here, man. Uh, Web developer live. Okay. So today's topic, we're going to be talking about, you know, the things that's happening with 87 Lux. Okay. And at the same time, once we go over that, we're going to go and start uh, asking, you know, or answering questions from like uh, the audience that's here. I really appreciate it. Everybody that's in here, we got about, you know, 20 something people. And that's great, right? That's a great number, right? Somebody might say, well, Joe, you you get hundreds and thousands of, of people on YouTube. It doesn't matter. I want to help this 20 people. The 20 people that's here, that's what I care about. The people that came to this live stream that are going to come here every single day, right? With, with your boy, we want to help them out. We want to come in and, and look at their journey and try to push them to the next level. Okay. Uh, we're going to get into this thing, which is 87 Lux, right guys? So let me go and share this, the screen with you guys. Uh, so we decided to go in and, and use this design for 87 Lux. Uh, basically we're in the works. We're getting all, all of the pages. I got another one of my uh, co-workers that is working on the other sections of the website. Uh, so basically this is how the website is going to be. Uh, basically when you land, we're going to have our main theme, which is the Venti team. Then from there, we got, you know, section where it's going to talk about the apps that uh, we're basically going to be creating. And then we just put in something simple, design code, deploy in a section here where it's going to be pretty much like a button. Uh, where people could click on and then book a call with us, right? So you might be thinking, what does 87 Lux have to do with coding phase? What is this, Joe? Why am I seeing this thing? Well, it's very simple, guys. So uh, codingphase.com, we train you to become developers. And then from there, you could go and get a job. You could start freelancing. You could start making your own themes. You can make your own applications, et cetera. Uh, but now what I want to do is I want to take it up a notch. I want, I want to actually go in and help you guys get your first gigs, get you guys uh, some freelance uh, projects that you guys can do. Um, I get people hitting me up all the time, asking me to build websites for them. I get people that tell me all the time, hey, could you build my Shopify uh, store for me? And to be honest with everything that I do, I don't have the time. Right now, the people that I train at codingphase.com, I know that they can do the work because it's pretty much they're learning everything that I know. Right. So I'm basically training them. And then at the same time, I'm going to provide the clients and, you know, and, and, and different opportunities that's coming my way. Now, I'm also hiring two more people, uh, including my wife. My wife is going to take a role in the new company. Uh, where I'm going to put her to basically, she's going to be in charge of um, basically getting new clients, right? That's her job. Her one role for the whole day is to constantly reach out to companies, constantly get new clients and bring them into coding phase 87 Lux, basically, right? And again, uh, we're going to be creating some training materials for those of you guys that are interested in this. Uh, there's going to be a section here on the website where you're going to be able to come in and register. And when you register as a contractor, right, or what we call like a, a expert, right, you're going to be registering yourself as an expert. It could be all I know is HTML, CSS. If that's all you know, we could get you some gigs, right? We could get you some work for that. If all you know is WordPress, we could get you some work for WordPress. If all you know is Shopify, we could get you some work uh, for Shopify. Now, for everybody that is going to be coming here, uh, the way how we're going to do it is we're going to come in and um, we're going to test you, right? We can't give you no work if we don't know what type of skills you have, what level you're at, okay? HTML, CSS, there's going to be a landing page. You build that whole landing page. You build it with HTML, CSS, um, make it responsive, okay? Make it nice. We look at the code that you have, and that's it. If we say, okay, this person is ready, then what we'll do is we'll put you on, on call. This is what we call on call, uh, which basically means that as new projects come in, you're one of the people that get priority right away because we already know that 
you're basically ready to do the, the work. Now, how does this work, right? How is it that you're going to get paid? So if you're in the United States, you get paid as a 1099, okay, uh, as a contractor. And basically what we do is we keep 70 uh, well we keep 30 percent and we give you 70 percent of the of the income so basically again our job is to get you gigs get you uh paired up with the right company the right client okay that you can actually be a, an asset to right and you could bring value to them so again uh this is the next phase of 87 lux and, and what we've been doing I know y'all heard about 87 Lux in the beginning of the year. Um, we was doing digital products. I tried to do some internships. I tried to do all of these things. And that was cool. But the truth is that at the end of the day, um, we need to build a, a sustainable business, right? So something that is going to make income. So how are we going to bring the income is really from creating digital products, right? We're going to be selling uh, Shopify themes, WordPress themes, um, Magento themes, big commerce themes, um, basically creating a main theme and then from there providing it for all the different platforms. Okay. So our main theme is going to be the Venti team. This is actually a placeholder. You're going to see later on tonight when the website is live. I don't want to go in right now. I'm just giving you a preview. I'm, I don't want to go in and share the theme yet. Um, but basically you'll see it tonight. It's going to be ready to, to be purchased. People's going to be able to, to buy the theme. It's $350 uh, for the theme. And this is a great way for us to start making income and, and, you know, to be able to provide more value to our audience and to our community, okay? Because if I win, everybody wins, right? At the end of the day. Like, if I'm able to make some extra income uh, from 87 Lux, I can go in and, and literally hire more people from the community, be able to pay for more ads. The, what I'm planning on doing is, again, um, my workflow is going to be getting the clients, right? Uh, making sure that you guys are trained and at the same time, making sure that there's certain quality of work and creating like documentation materials for you guys to understand uh, what's the type of level of quality that we want to have uh, for our work, uh, for these clients that we're about to get. Okay. I already have, I think about three clients that want Shopify themes. So if you are a Shopify developer, you have taken the Shopify courses, um, definitely register yourself as an expert on 87 Lux tonight and literally, Hey, show me what you have done. Show me, Hey, I've completed the course. I built this theme. Let me look at your work. And then if you're ready, I'm going to put you in and you can start working on, on this contract work. Um, each project is about $3,000. So there's about, we're starting, I think we're starting good, right? Uh, it's about like $9,000, almost $10,000 worth of, you know, of, of income coming in. Again, you keep 70, we keep 30, okay? That might change in the future. It might not change in the future. It all depends on how the first year goes. OK, um, most companies that do this, uh, this other companies like Creative Circle. Uh, one of the reasons why I'm getting into this this business model is because I've basically most of my career, I did something similar to this. I was a contractor for Creative Circle. Creative Circle will get me clients um, and I will work for a whole bunch of major companies. You know, they'll pay me 70, 80 dollars an hour. Right. Um, and then from there, they will keep about like 40, 45 percent of of the income. And then they will pay me my cut, which that was fine. Sometimes they will go and get a, a gig that you get paid $150. So you're making $75 an hour, right? Cause they basically take half. Now I'm doing this to make sure I take care of, of you guys, right? Cause I was in the other side of the, the position where it's like, okay, I'm like half of my income or half of what they're charging for me, you know, they get to keep. This time around, we're basically trying to take care of the people and say, hey, you know what? What if we take care of the talent and we give the talent a bigger cut, right? So like that, for every $100, you make $70, right? So it's like, okay, you're, you don't have to go and get the clients. You don't have to be the one dealing with customer service. Your job is just to produce and, and create the, 
create the the, the projects. So again, uh, for anybody that's in here, what do you guys think? Uh, let me see. Uh, allow you guys to come in if you guys want to uh, raise your hand if you want to be part of this. Again, I could bring you right into this this conversation. Uh, shout out to Andre. So there you go, Andre. Um, you. Yo yo yo. Yeah, I think this sounds awesome, man. Um, you know, everybody's out here. We're 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 going through the tutorials and we're and we're putting out stuff and but like you know we're looking for the job, man. We want the bag. So like mm -hmm. you giving us opportunity like that, it just sounds great to me. And I, I really look forward more to these uh, daily calls, not just the one on Sunday. It's gonna be great. So thank yeah, you. Yeah. yeah, definitely, man. I mean that that's what I want to do for you guys. I want to make sure that that you guys um constantly you know get paid because to me it's all about the bag and y'all already know that right like if if you're coding and, and you're not making some type of income it's like you have a hobby we don't do hobbies here we want to make sure that if you come in you're learning how to code you're getting paid and at the same time that you know some of these projects maybe some of you guys couldn't have gotten it by yourselves right? Maybe you, you might not have the time to go out there and try to get clients and, and, and create a profile for yourself and, and all of those things. Now you have a place where every day, my goal is to have it the same way how uh, Creator Circle will have it, where every single morning, every time that I woke up at six, seven o'clock in the morning, I will have about like 16, 17 emails of gigs that were made for that day that you could take. Anybody could take that those positions and say, hey, do you want to work on, on Laravel? Do you want to work on, on React? Do you want to work on, uh, you know, HTML emails? And then depending on the skills that you're at, you could come in and say, okay, I, I'm ready to do it. I could go in and commit, right? Right now we're focusing on gigs, which are pretty much like, you know, offset projects or like a whole project, customized projects, right? Uh, but the goal is, in the next six months, we're going to start looking into getting into contracts where if we could go and place some of you guys for a contract for, you know, let's say a six month contract, nine month contract, a whole year contract, you know, maybe a contract to hire right through us, then that's what we're, we're trying to get to. But of course, we got to first crawl before we start running. Right. So uh, we're taking it one step at a time. So definitely. Uh, let me see. Bring in your boy, Gil. What up, Gil? You got to unmute yourself. Got it, Gil. got it. What up, what up? How you doing, everyone? Um, just want to say shout out to the community uh, who helps in responding to my different questions and inquiries on the community app. Mm -hmm. um, you know, going to the gig uh, opportunity. You know, when we apply for, say, an expert for right now, I'm like, a, I'm good at HTML, CSS, and I'm still learning. Mm -hmm. um, and we take your quiz or exam um, and you say, yo, go back to the drawing board, you know, go to, are you going to say, are you going to, are your folks going to give feedback on the quality of the work or um, go back to this class? Yeah, or yeah. It's just going to be like, yo, you're whack. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. So. One of the things that I'm going to be focusing on the most, like right now, um, the way how I'm doing is I could say 40% of my time is going to be on coding phase. And then 60% of my time is going to be on 87 Lux right now for all, all my time is really to benefit all of you guys too. Right. So in the sense, 40% of coding phase, I'm going to be doing the courses, doing the final touches of the new courses that I want to do. Um, but then now with 87 Lux, what is it that I'm going to be doing for you guys? I'm setting up documentation on how your project should be. So just like the question that you had, if you go in and you say, okay, I know HTML, CSS, but I don't know, like, how is it that my code is supposed to look? How is it that I'm supposed to present this project to, to the client, right? I'm going to have examples for every situation. So, we're only going to take certain type of gigs, right? We're going to do HTML emails. We're going to do uh, static sites, HTML, CSS, Shopify themes, WordPress themes. Okay. And then from there, there might be a situation where we're going to have to do like a custom code, which it could be like a full stack application for like Laravel or maybe Node.js. Now, again, all of those courses and 
all of those skills are, are encoding phase. But then now by me having this documentation, it's like a go-to guide for you guys to know, hey, this is how your project's supposed to look. This is how your code is supposed to look, right? So things are in order. But again, it's like I'm guiding you. Uh, think about it like this. You're coming to coding phase. You're learning how to code. But then now I also want to guide you to get to the next point, which is come work with us at 87 Lux. And then from there, you know, you could get your job, you could do uh, whatever it is that you want to do, but we want to make sure that uh, you get some money in your pocket, right? Because if you could freelance and you could, you know, do a couple of gigs, why not? Plus also too, this is a great way for you to have real projects for your portfolio. So when you decide, hey, I'm going for this job interviews, you're not showing up with like, you know, just the courses projects, you're actually dealing with um, real clients that, you know, you, you have basically built their websites for, right? And then now you can say, hey, I built this restaurant website. And then when people go to the website, it's a real domain, it's a real site, it's a real business that you could look at Google, you know, on Google map, they search, uh, let's say little Billy's hamburger spot. And then now they see it, they go to the, the map, it's like, oh shoot, it's a real business. So Gil has actually have uh, some experience, okay? So that's what we're doing. So don't worry, I got you. You don't have to, you know, we're not going to go in and be like, well, that's it. Like we wash our hands, like, uh, and, and you get no feedback because then you don't learn it. And the goal is for you to, to learn. And also too, like the way how I look at it is um, the better we prepare you at coding phase and the better that we show you how things need to get, get done and allowing every single one of you guys to be part of this, it's even better because I'll give you an example. Somebody like Wally, Wally might be working full time and maybe he can't do a, a gig. Maybe he's he's backed up. He's like, oh, I'm backed up. I can't do this HTML email gig. But then now you, Gil, you're coming up. You're like the new talent. Whereas like, okay, now if he's not available, you're available. And the day that you decide, oh, I just got my, my new job. The next guy comes in and he's available. So you get what I'm saying? So I want to prepare all of you guys. And, and I, that's why I want to give you guys all that feedback and help you guys out. Okay. As much as we can. Um, this live streams that we're going to be doing at 12 o'clock every single day is going to be really like productive. Like I, I feel like on YouTube, we have a lot of fun and we, we crack a lot of jokes. We also get a lot of random trolls and shit like that. But now it's like the people that's here is here for a reason. And at the same time, whoever wants to watch this on YouTube can learn from it. And, uh, and learn from what we're doing here and see all the cool things that we're knocking out, okay? Uh, so don't worry, I got you. Let me see. Uh, if anybody else got any topics, anything that you guys want to uh, talk about, you know, it's a regular conversation. Um, again, you're, you're part of it, okay? So let me see. Give me one second. So yeah, man, I'm reading through the chat. Let's see the chat. See what's going on in the chat. It says... Uh, testing, testing. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> Test successful. I can see you, Brian. Yes, Brian. Okay. Uh, da -da -da. Somebody says, Chris, do I have to leave? Okay. Good luck. Okay. Um, shout out to everybody that's in here. Let me see who's in here. Let me see if we get the, the whole squad. <laughs> Throw the squad in here. See who's in here real quick. We got a, we got a couple of people in here. Shout out to the squad. We got, we got Dan, we got Dave, we got Orlando, we got Karen, we got Jose, we got Billy Rodriguez, we got Richard, we got Gil, um, you got Tina. What up, Tina? Richard, who else? We got a couple of people in here. Mr. Harlan, Alberto, was popping, was good. <laughs> so again, guys, so this is the things that we're doing right now. You know, I'm, I'm just setting everything up. I'm excited. Uh, shout out to the people that are on coding phase that have been creating their own digital products. Okay. And, um, you know, there's something that's very interesting about like what we're doing here. I feel like a lot of you guys can learn from this and even see like how I'm, I'm, I'm sharing a lot of the stuff and a lot of my strategies for, for 87 Lux and how we're going to, uh, release the steams and how we're going to, uh, get traffic 
And we're going to be sharing that here on, on, on this live streams every day and give you I got, give you guys updates and show you guys even when we're running ads and things like that. So you can do it yourself. Like, I don't want you guys to be like, well, uh, I got to go to Joe. Like, no, nah, you could do this on your own. Right. Because uh, there's a lot of people right now that even as we speak, that started already selling their Shopify themes. Right. When nobody here believe when pre it's the same thing when I created a video in what was it, 2018, 2017, a video when I say, hey, uh, HTML emails, right? One of the best way for, for you to get into the game. And nobody believed me. There was like people in the comment section was like, oh, this is bullshit. You can't just get hired with HTML and CSS. That's not possible. And I'm like, bro, yes, it is. <laughs> like I've seen it done before. I've gotten paid as an HTML email developer. Uh, before so it's like I, I see it all the time um and there's a lot of people that's now working as html email developers that even that we have here right now as we speak so at the end of the day it's the same thing with shopify i told you guys from the beginning like your shopify is the wave that's where the money is at that's where you're gonna get your bread if you still haven't like gotten your mind or you know started thinking about what you're gonna do next and Shopify is not next for you. You got to you got to think about this. You got to sit down, you know, look at yourself in the mirror, slap yourself up a little bit and be like, yo, hold on. I got to wake up. I can't be sleeping out here. You get what I'm saying? Like Shopify is the wave. OK, um, shout out to this, this this company. Let me see. I forgot the name. I'm going to tell you right now. Uh, there's a couple of like Shopify uh, agencies that's out there that they're making a killing, right? Uh, this, of course, one called Pixel Union. There's another one called uh, Out of the Box. Uh, no, Out of the Sandbox, right? Uh, that they're making a killing on, on Shopify. And when people be like, oh, there's no way that you could be making this type of money and this, this, and that, like, you don't have to believe me, right? Because sometimes people, people think like, I'm just coming up with this stuff. Like, I just be like, yo, I just pull it out and be like, hey guys, like, here you go. Like, nah, you could do this research your, your own damn self, right? Check out out of, out of the box, right? Out of the sandbox, matter of fact. They've been here for a while, but this is how much they charge it, right? 450, 400, 400, 400. Now, um, they recently got a, a acquired by, let me see, what's the name of the company? uh partner program let me see um there's a company that that bought them so it's out of let me see how is it out of the sandbox sandbox dribble let me see. This is a, it's a company. I'm trying to find the company uh, to show it to you guys. Tiny Capital. There you go. So Tiny Capital is is basically a, a like think of it like a a company that that buys companies, right? A company that buys companies basically investing in 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 companies, right? Like venture capital, etc. Now. Uh, they basically they've bought Pixel Union, right? Which is a company that also sell themes and sell they create apps, right? And they also own out of the sandbox. Okay. They also have a whole bunch of other companies. They bought Dribble, right? So that website that I always tell you guys to go check out uh to make sure you 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 basically do your your, your projects and, and, and things like that. You got Drivel, right? They also own Creative Market. This is another marketplace for those of you guys that don't know that you can sell your templates, okay? So they're pretty big, right? Um, they have the No Code Agency. They have the Webster's page, the Caramba. There's a furniture brand. You have Button. You have uh, Unicorn Hunt, okay? So they basically own a lot of different companies. And they also invest in a lot of companies like SpaceX, uh, Buffer, um, Broadloom, Mayday, Rain, Van, Launcher, Panther, right? 
It's a lot of companies like they, they work with the big boys. Now, you might be asking yourself, why is this company going out of the way and acquiring this digital agencies that are just selling Shopify themes? And you might say, why? Now, one thing that you got to realize, too, is that if you look down here, it tells you something very special, very, very important. OK. It basically tells you, let me see if I find it. Right. Uh, there's an area here. There's a line where they basically tell you that if you are, this is the type of businesses that they're looking to buy. Right. High margins. Right. A unique advantage, a simple business model. Right. Something simple. You create themes, you sell. Right. That's something simple that anybody that wanted to invest into that can understand. You have a product and you sell the product. You provide customer service and you provide support, right? Um, but again, one thing that's interesting, we like to buy businesses that have, okay, again, high margins, a unique advantage, a simple business model, healthy profit, 500K to $30 million. Now, why am I even showing you this? Number one, to open your brain up, open your mind to what's the possibilities. If they, they went out of their way to buy this company, Pixel Union, and also to out of the sandbox and places like creativemarket.com, right? It's because this things, they, there's value in it. There's a bag. No one goes in and offers somebody five, $10 million for a business or more unless there's a bag for them. You get what I'm saying? Now, for us as developers, we can go in and easily be just, I'm a worker. Let me go get my job and do, 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 and just go to work every day. But you got to see the vision. You got to see what's possible, what's out there, right? It's like, you could look at me and say, well, Joe was self-made, learn how to code on his own, got working. But Joe also started from the beginning making side income. This is why I'm able to do what I'm doing here with you guys, right? The things that I'm doing right now with you guys, this is the same thing that you guys could be doing two, three years from now, right? And be in a higher position than me because you had uh, basically guidance and you had a pathway. I learned by like bumping into walls, making a mistake, bumping into another wall, making a mistake, and then finding the road. It's like life is like a puzzle, right? Now you could go in and I give you a great example. It's like, Guys, you know, because I, I come from a background of music, guys that were doing music in, in the 90s, they didn't make as much money as the guys that make music today. And you know why? Because those guys, they paved the way. But now those guys that's coming after them, they have an easier road and they know exactly what to do and what to get into and, and the type of ways that they can make business. Right. That's how I look at my situation. I had to bump into a whole bunch of walls to find the road and now i'm giving you guys the shortcut and, and, and opening your eyes to opportunities so now what took me 10 years you could do in three years or even less some of you guys are even more talented than me and more smarter than me like you get what i'm saying like you guys could get to wherever the hell you want to get to but again this is a great opportunity when it comes to shopify because this is like a it, it, it it's an opportunity where people are going to be selling online regardless. There was a point where people needed to hire developers for creating, you know, like tech companies and, and unicorns and, and freaking Facebook, the Instagrams, the WhatsApp, right? But now we're in a position where every company needs a developer in-house or out of arm's reach, right? So basically, if every company needs, needs a developer and most businesses, they provide a, a, a product and they're trying to sell the product online, it's a no-brainer to go in and actually go and learn the, the platform that's number one in the world. Makes no sense for you to be like, I'm not going to learn Shopify. You have to. You have to learn it. It's, it, it. it's out of your hands now. 
That's like somebody telling you not to learn JavaScript. Be like, don't learn JavaScript. You have to, right? If you want to make your own money. Now, of course, if you want to go in and just be like, I'm just working to work at a company and whatever they tell me to learn, I'll learn it. You could take that route too. But again, I'm not trying to prepare you just to be a worker. I want you guys to go in and make your own bread and make your own income and make your own companies. Same way how I'm able to do what I'm doing today. You guys can do the exact same thing. Some of you guys might come up with a software as a service. Some of you guys might come up with a niche website. Some of you guys might say, you know what? I'm really good at freelancing. Some of you guys might say, I could specialize in WordPress. I could go in and create WordPress themes and WordPress plugins. I could specialize in Shopify, right? I could specialize in, you know, whatever new platform that comes out. But that's what I'm trying to do here on, on this channel and in, in, in this community to get you guys up there and, and, and to start thinking like this. Because to, to be honest with you, like I'm so glad that when I came into the game, I was watching, again, I always bring her up because even though I don't know her, I feel like I owe her, I owe her a bag. <laughs> Lisa Irby. If you guys want to know, like, where was my mind at? I need to get in contact with her. She's still making content. Like, <laughs> I need to get her in this channel somehow. Like, Lisa Irby is the shit. Like, I love this woman. Because when, you know, when I was at, at home, most people don't even know. In 2010, I almost died. I was sick as hell. I almost died. And that put my whole life on hold. I left music. I I freaking uh, went back to school. I didn't know what to do. I was like, yo, I went through some freaking life, death experience. And then from there, I survived. And I said, okay, cool. I got to get my shit together. But I want to work. But to be able to set a future and not just like I'm working and working until I'm 65 years old, working for somebody. I don't want to do that. I don't know about you guys. Like, I hate working for somebody like, like, that's the truth. Like, <laughs> I hate having to work for somebody because sometimes you might not get paid what you, you what you deserve. But I used to be watching this lady, right? This is who I used to watch. This was my coding phase. When you guys watch me and, and some people were saying, oh, this guy's corny at home and, and this guy's this, this and that. Bro, I'm changing lives. <laughs> Same way how Lisa Irby changed my life, right? Because I used to see her and I used to be like, man, how is this lady always, you know, at home, working from home, sharing all this value, right? Talking about making money online, talking about Google AdSense, right? Um, you know, talking about creating uh, online courses, right? Uh, talking about uh, how to get traffic. This is stuff that like nobody else was talking about, right? Nobody was really on YouTube doing this. She was like one of the first ones and just being like a regular person and having success, had her house, right? Uh, you know, had her own independent business. She was selling clothes. She was uh, doing affiliate marketing. She was doing a whole bunch of things and earning top dollar, right? So to me, this was the dream. And I'm so lucky that I found her back then. Because right now, if I wouldn't have found her, I wouldn't have known about all of the things that I know now, right? I would have still probably right now been working for a company or maybe having to go climb the ladder. And what, where would I be? Or once you, you reach a certain point, what's the next step as a developer was like, you go to what, go work at Fang. And then now you got to go up the ladder again in that company and, and those type of companies like for what? Right. So for me, I'm so glad. I'm so happy that I found somebody like her back in the days because it actually helped me understand that you got to find skills and you got to find opportunities that's out here that you can do on your own. If you are working on something that you can't work on your own, you're doing shit wrong. Because now it's like learning a language that's only like, I'll give you an example. Like if you go into a company and they're using something that's super old and no one else uses it, you need to run away from that company because at the end of the day, if they fire you, now you don't have updated skills. You don't have a skill that you could go and transfer it to another job. So it's like, it's really like a, a, a waste of time. So for me, thank God that I found her back then because it really helped me out. It, it, it got me on this, on this mentality of me having to, 
you know, to think about, um, you know, how do I use my skills as a developer? And, you know, I just recently talked to one of my old coworkers. He just lost his job and he's like, yo, this sucks. I, I was here for uh, four years, right? He quit at the same time that I quit my last job and, and he got let go of that job. And he's like, yo, this sucks. Like I gave four years to this company and then now I got to, you know, scramble to go and get another job. And I'm like thinking in my head, I'm like, shoot, like I don't got nothing to worry about. Like I prepare myself for a, a long time ago that yes, I'm working, but I'm making side income. So when the day I decide to quit, I'm making as much or more on my own businesses. And that's what I'm trying to bring to the table for you guys. So you guys can get into this shit, man. Because again, nobody else is going to really talk like this. Nobody really is going to talk about this type of topics. You know, most people, they're just trying to prepare you to just go work, be a, be a good worker for the rest of your life. It's like, that's cool. And, and you might want that too. You might say, shoot, I, I, I like the, the, the stability of it. Uh, but for me, to be honest with you, I'm like, man, I, I'd rather go in and, and, and do what I have to do to, to get a bag. You get what I'm saying? Now, again, uh, let's jump into Tina. Tina was good. You could unmute yourself. You could jump in. Hey, hey, Joe, how are you? What's good? What's good? How's everything? Good, good. First, I just want to um say you did. I really enjoyed your um your morning podcast this morning. You were. I appreciate you being so transparent. I don't know what happened with the whatever somebody said to you, but yeah, yeah, you yeah. motivate <laughs> me. You motivate me, and I've had um been dealing with a lot of personal issues with the death of my mother-in-law and my mom. Yeah. So it's like, um, you kind of keep me going. But um, with that being said, um, Shopify, I started working on your first Shopify course a few months ago. Mm -hmm. And I put it to a side because I really wanted to do the, you were really promoting the digital um, templates mm -hmm. and the themes and all. So I'm at a cross point. Uh, I don't know, sh in, should I resume Shopify one point? Oh, zero, or should mm -hmm. I move to Shopify 2.0? Because mm -hmm. I've heard people say in the chat words that 1.0 is going to probably be outdated next year. So I don't mm -hmm. want to, you know, I don't oh. want to waste a lot of time or should I just stick with the first course? So I, I was doing Liquify mm -hmm. and way through the Liquify section. Mm -hmm. So that's where I am now. Yeah. So what I will say is, is this, I will say go and, and do the, the part one right because in part one what we do is we go over more in depth like liquid we teach liquid we go in and um basically teach you about what a shopify theme is how to convert like a static site into a shopify theme right okay. um so some people get this mixed up with they see oh 1.0 and 2.0 2.0 has new features that are good for the user but that doesn't mean that the way how you're doing uh, themes in 1.0 is like completely obsolete. Most of the, of the, the themes that's out there, like let's say if you go and work for a company right now, they don't have 2.0, they have 1.0. So 2.0 is really like the latest way of, of doing it, but it's really the same thing. It's just a little, a couple of changes. So my advice is, is do 1.0 and then, 2.0 is more like a refresher and showing you the new features. So you get what I'm saying? Yeah, um, yeah. I'm, I'm planning on, on separating the liquid section from, from the 1.0 course. So for those of those people that just say, I just want to learn 2.0. I don't even care about 1.0, which I don't recommend for people to do that. Cause then, you know, if you go into a, a company and you don't know how to work with, um, regular liquid files you're gonna be like okay um you're working with templates that are made with json and you think that's the only way to do it you know it's like if, if somebody knows about react right let's say react now everybody uses react hooks but a few years ago everybody was using um react with instead of functional uh, components that were class-based components and some people skip class-based components thinking, oh, I'm, I'm good. I don't have to ever look at a class-based component. And that's not true. Most companies that built websites from like the past five, six, seven years, like their websites are built with class-based components. <laughs> so regardless, you still got to, you need that information, right? Okay. 
All right. Thank you. So, but definitely um, go ahead and start with the first one. And again, you don't, what I would say is you don't have to build the final project of the 1.0. If you want to go in, if you want to stop after you already learned liquid, jump into uh, 2.0. Okay. Cool. All right. Thanks. Okay. Uh, let me see. Anybody else? want to come in and again this is open for anybody this is how i like to do it right this is the beauty of having uh, a small group of of individuals in here um uh, which is not really small we still got 30 something <laughs> you know and we, without no notifications no nothing like we got a lot of people in here okay so definitely if you want to jump in i know we got a couple of people in here we got who we see in here we got uh ATL Andre, we got Navi Israel, Wally Coles, Tina, uh, Peter, uh, Pradeep, Hector Gill, Antoinette, Doug Franklin, Nancy, Richard C., Ethan, Ray, uh, Karen, of course, Orlando, uh, Brent, Dave, who else we got in here? We got Jose, what's popping, y'all? If y'all wanna jump in and y'all have any topics, any questions you guys wanna ask, or anything definitely let me know i mean i'm gonna ask you again what you guys think about you know this new uh phase of like 87 lux this opportunity to be able to get some some gigs and, and some contract work um see if you guys are into that see how many of you guys are planning to to become experts 87 lux experts so go ahead now be jump in just unmute yourself Okay, yeah, yeah. What's going on, Joe? What's good, bro? Shit, thank good, man. I was um I just had an interview and uh they was talking about Ember JS. Have you ever heard that before? Yeah, yeah, of course. It's classic. It's a cl okay, so <laughs> let me know like what's the what's like how can you transition from learning to react to that? Well, not you and you don't have to give me like the, the mm -hmm. everything, but what's 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 different about those that I so need to look for? It's like MVC. It's like model view controller. Um, I haven't looked at Ember in a while, um, but a lot of companies that, that use like uh, Ruby on Rails, right? Um, also to companies that, that want to have a certain structure because again, like something like React, you could do whatever the hell you want in React. Like you could build a component a certain way and then I could build in a certain way, right? And mm -hmm. I could give it to Wally and Wally goes and builds it a certain way, right? Now with Ember, everything is a certain certain structure, right? <laughs> so it's it, in a way similar to Angular in the sense of like um, you have structure to your code and, and a certain way right. of building things, but mm -hmm. it's, it's super simple to learn. Like if you, if you know React and you understand what, you know, a JavaScript framework is supposed to do, then you're going to be at home. It's super easy. Okay. Yeah, I think, I think it's going to be like actually pretty fun to learn because, you know, the way how things are done now with, with React and Angular and, and things like that, um, you know, like they've kind of walked away from the way how things are done with Ember. But if you, have you ever used like Laravel? Uh, no, I, I haven't. I haven't gotten. I just the furthest I got in the back end is just my SQL, just playing with my SQL a little mm -hmm. bit. But I haven't got to Laravel yet. Okay, so basically, it's like it's like having a, a framework that has a structure to it, right? So right, this is where the 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 models are supposed to be. This is where the controllers are supposed to be. This is where the view is supposed to be. Um, so from what I remember, that's how Ember is. I've used it before, but that was a long time ago. I know they have, um latest versions that might have uh taking a little bit more of like the way how react does things but yeah. um it could be that you know they're using an older version too because a lot of the companies that use like ember they're not like those type of companies that just update because they want to update so you might be working on some legacy code that was made maybe a year two years ago three years ago or even older than that and that's fine mm -hmm. it's a great mm -hmm. opportunity and and you could look through the code base and you're going to learn a lot. Most of the companies that use this, you see Netflix, you got Microsoft, Square, LinkedIn, uh, Apple, Heroku. A lot of big companies use Ember because it keeps a structure, especially when you're working with a lot of developers. Um, having a structure framework 
it's the way to go. Yeah. Um, from what I, when I, in the interview, from what I got from them is that they are, I think they're going to try to um, convert to react Mm -hmm. because they was talking good things about when I was telling them about, I'm learning react. Mm -hmm. They was like, um, both of them because I had to interview both of them in uh, different times and both of them mm-hmm. was like man we're trying to really convert because I think they don't like Amber no more man they like man I don't like it no more so and, and the company gives them free reign to do what they want to do mm-hmm. so yeah, yeah. I, I'm excited for that but then I may need to know Amber too so I, that's why I asked about it yeah 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 you it's, it's simple you you could probably watch like a, a quick crash course on YouTube and and check it through um but it's simple it's, it's very easy it's not it's not something hard i think mm-hmm. like the way how frameworks used to work before it was less complicated compared to now you know yeah so it's yeah. actually pretty straightforward so you'll be fine okay cool. okay cool 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 appreciate you joe yeah definitely bro so what's good what's good uh who we got in here peter what's good peter Peter looking like coding phase right now. It's like, yo, I'm outside <laughs> with it. <laughs> yeah. Um, hey, Joe. I just actually just, um, I don't really have a in-depth question like the other guys. It's just, um, I started, I guess I just, I'm just coming from driving Lyft. Right now I don't have a job. Mm-hmm. So it's just kind of like, um, I'm just getting started. Mm-hmm. So about two years ago, I actually came across your you on YouTube. And I was trying to get on, then I think I subscribed and I didn't even use any of it and it all expired. So I just got back on. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Now I'm trying to get all serious and make sure I keep to what I, you know, my intentions. And um, I, I, I don't have any experience, no coding experience. And, uh-huh. and um, I'm trying to see, I guess you have watched most of your videos. You say you need to start from front end and mm-hmm. walk the way towards back end. and. And but it seems like the guys on this call are pretty. I've been around for a while. Do am I the only one that's pretty new to this? No, no. I'm pretty sure. Uh, let me see. You guys can go ahead. I don't know if you guys are uh, anybody that's in here that want to come in and say, "Hey, man, I'm a beginner too." Like, <laughs> so Peter feel good. But I'm telling you, like you, you comfy, bro. Like most of the people here. Uh, are beginners too maybe they'll have like a month ahead of you right or maybe they have like two three months but you know most people are also beginners you know like it's just a process like it'll take you two weeks uh you know two weeks to learn html css now you're building a few little projects now you're more comfortable now you're working with javascript that's it that's a whole month right so by the end of the month if you go in and you do your two two to three hours a day then you're going to pick all this thing up. I mean, right now, if you're not working, I think, shoot, my advice would be like, knock this shit out, come in and and, and try to do as much as you can. So you could catch up quick and then you could start getting um, these gigs and either freelancing or you could start working as an HTML email developer, content editor, right? You do front end development, right? There's a lot of opportunities that you could get into without having to wait six months a year from now to learn everything is that you can start working with you know two months of of skills that you have picked up you get what i'm saying so yeah so you you just got to put in the time you know and understand that you started before um but yeah (laughs) but it happens bro i i've met so many people here like this this dudes that they came in 2017 and then came in back again after the pandemic they realized that like yo they lost their jobs and, and, and they were like yo this sucks da, da, da. and then came in like after the pandemic and early in the year and they're working now as developers so in less than six months they're already working so it's never too late it's one of those things that if you come in and you say i want to do this then you could start your journey because once you're hired as a developer it could be content editor web developer webmaster web producer whatever the title is once you're in and you're already getting paid for using the skills of programming on on the web like that's it it's like being part of a union like nobody can really take you out you know what i'm saying give me one second guys 
Hello? Ajá. Dime, ¿cómo está? Ok, está todo. Te la voy a mandar ahora mismo. Ok. Ok, Tato, gracias. Tato, perfecto. Ok, te lo voy a mandar ahora. Ok. Hey, your boy's getting his back. His Ben's back. Give me my car back, bro. <laughs> yeah, now they, they, um, they bring my car from Miami. Uh, those that, that don't know, I had a, a little minor accident <laughs> in Miami and then uh, shit is fixed now. So let me just text this guy uh, the address. He's on his way right now to drop it off. Uh, let me see. So, yeah, man, um, like I was saying, all you have to do is really just put in the time, man. It's just dedicate yourself. Dedicate yourself. This is like an opportunity that you're not going to get anywhere else. Like dedicate yourself for the next, you know, you know, the for next few months. Right now we're in, in, in October. Let's say that you dedicate yourself from October all the way till, you know, January. By February, you, you should be working. You get what I'm saying? So it's like a, it's something that you, you know, you just got to go for it. Let me see. Bring in Billy Rodriguez. Uh, I know a couple of people that. Who had their hand up? I think I, I put your hand down by mistake. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate it. Take care, man. Let me see who else is in here. Da, da, da. Uh, Mohammed, Mohammed, what up, Mohammed? Y'all could unmute. Let me see. I got to tell you guys to unmute. Hey, Joe. I'm unmuted now. Okay. What's good? Hey. What's good? Hey, got your boy Billy <laughs> out here. You know what's crazy? For mad years, I used to be like, yo, y'all could call me Billy Rodriguez. And it's like, yo, there's a real Billy Rodriguez. Like, this. yeah. <laughs> So my, my question was, uh, you know, I recently got a, got the job for HTML emails, uh, uh, not not this coming week, but the following week. Mm -hmm. uh, it is a contract job. So mm -hmm. I, I have two little kids, a uh, two year old and a five year old. So one, one big thing for me is having benefits or getting benefits, medical benefits. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think is like the next like surefire like way, I guess, to get a, a better paying job, whether that be React or Shopify? That I will say you got to do the research, right? Mm -hmm. So that's, I don't know exactly where you live, your area, right? So you have to go in and look around how many jobs are there for Shopify developer and how many jobs are there for React, right? Um, so that's the first thing that I would do. Do the research, find out, right? Because I could tell you, hey, man, go for Shopify, but yeah. if there's 500 React jobs, do react right because you know you're in a position where you want to go in and um get that full-time job where you have the benefits you know you got some nice insurance you can put the kids under right especially right now we're in enrollment time it's like you know this is the moment when you start thinking about things like this yeah um, so definitely what i will say is you know do the research look what's in there uh, in your area, go indeed, go to dice.com, go to uh, what's the other one? Indeed, dice, uh, zip recruiter, check all those websites and and even Google search, search Google jobs on Google, and and then it, Google has its own job board that it searches through. Yeah, yeah I kind of used that when I was looking for the HTML job, mm -hmm. but um. Yeah, because the contract ends in March, and I just want to make sure that from now until yeah, yeah. the contract ends that I'm, you know, whether they onboard me or not into that full-time role mm -hmm. or, you know, get another email. You job. already have something lined up. Right. That way I can start studying now and, like, mm -hmm. actually learn everything before the contract ends to either stay in HTML email or, mm -hmm. you know, make that jump to React. Mm -hmm. so. Yeah, so I will say, yeah, find out in your area, see, Cause it's always easier to find jobs mm -hmm. 
uh, locally than it is to find it in other states and in other right. time zones. Like right now, here in Miami and the East Coast, like Shopify is hot right now. Mm-hmm. Like there's a lot of opportunities everywhere you go uh, for Shopify. Um, but yeah, I'm in the Houston area, so I, I think it might be more of React. Uh, yeah. So you you want to go in and, you know, just, you know, I, I, I give like what I call a general advice. Where it's like I'm doing research in all the different areas, but if you're like in a, on top of a mountain in Wyoming, it's like, and you're listening to me, and I'm in Miami. It's like, you know, you should have done your, your own research. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Like, you're like, yeah. hold on, I'm following Joe, and Joe told me to learn this. It's like, bro, you in Wyoming? Like, you should have went in and do you you do your own Google's, right? So, um, always uh, do the research, right? Mm-hmm. Um. And also, too, because everybody has different situations, different cases, right? Uh, the skills that you might have right now, you might say, well, maybe uh, I could go for Shopify, but then what if in that Shopify position, they're looking for a, a back-end developer, too, who could do Shopify apps, and then now you're not, you're you're trying to do too much back-to-back, right. right? So you're already in the front end, you already have experience with that, right, which is HTML emails. Now, the transition to uh, JavaScript and React is not going to be that far. So then you could go in, continue learning those things, prepare yourself in the next uh, few months, and don't wait until the the like the end of your contract. Start mm-hmm. sending out like two months ahead before the end of the contract. Start sending it out, and and because a lot of times you go in and you apply to places, and some companies they have the luxury to wait until the right candidate. Now, right. you might be the right candidate, but they might just be waiting to see which one is the best one. In two months from now, we'll hire somebody. So you get what I'm saying? So you don't want to be in there like, oh, let me go and wait on the last uh, a week before you get uh, the contract finished. And mm-hmm. you're like, now I'm going to start applying. Don't do that. Definitely do not do that uh, because I've seen people that they burn themselves by doing that. It's like, think ahead start applying way before um so like that you have all these things already lined up you know that that, that was my plan Uh, that's what i'm gonna do Mm -hmm. two months at least yeah definitely man um but yeah so how's everything over there in texas uh that position that you got now it's actually remote remote okay yeah it's remote Uh, it's a company from pennsylvania okay pa so yeah, it's yeah, exactly. a pretty big company and um, they work like in an agile environment. So I'm going to be working with designers and product managers and other, I guess they work in, you know, in teams. In teams, uh, yeah. Yeah, I think oh, yeah. That was one of the main things that they wanted or were looking for was somebody with experience working within a team setting. Mm-hmm. And my, at my current job, that's kind of what I do is I work with sales, engineering and production. And so I think that that was something that, really helped me out uh, in terms to get that job because you know they they so, didn't they didn't well, even test or anything so what was you doing before and now uh html emails it was in manufacturing i was mm-hmm. a cnc programmer uh, i used to be a machinist and then i worked my way up um pretty fast mm-hmm. so i kind of like hit the ceiling and you know i was like all right there's nowhere else to go uh, mm-hmm. and also i wanted to change industries yeah, yeah, yeah. I've always wanted to learn to code and working from home was always a big plus. So no, yeah. that's hot. That's hot, man. I mean, how you feel about that now? Like now you you're here. I mean, your journey just started, but yeah. that's it. You're here, you know, like ain't nobody could take this away from you. And like from here is just the way up, you know, it's, I've yeah. never heard of somebody say, I got my first job as a, as a developer and now I'm on the ground. Like uh, I'm back to zero. Like I've never heard of that. I've been in the game for 10 years. Like everybody, once it starts, it's always up. Yeah, I think um, it's definitely the beginning. I'm not gonna just stop here and stay at HTML emails or even just, um, you know, not progress. So I'm gonna continue mm-hmm. to learn and, and do more and, you know, just keep on trying and not giving up. Nice, nice, nice. That's what's up, man. I'm, I'm happy for you, Billy. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate your help, too. Yeah, man. Shout out to everybody. Shout out to the kids. And, you know, as a family, man, I definitely understand. I got three kids, so, you know, <laughs> I know how it is. 
you know once you have a family it's like you number one you're always thinking about how can you uh one of the things that i always be like man how can i maximize my time like even working from home is kind of of a blessing because even when you go to the kitchen real quick and you get to see your kids you're not gonna get yeah. that in any other job you get what i'm saying like you know it's one of those situations where he's like okay cool let me go pick up my my daughter real quick just for the hell of it right and, and, and see how she's doing and you know as a family man i think it, it's great when you work from home. Like, I love it, you know? So uh, I'm glad that you're going to get to experience that, you know? Yeah. And and I guess for the previous speaker, he had a question about, um, you know, he had stopped and then he was like trying to start all over again. Well, I had sent you that email letting you know that I had mm -hmm. started last year, but then I didn't have a community or any guidance as to where to go. So I kind of like went hard for like two months. And then after that, everything like kind of dropped off. Mm -hmm. And then in May, uh, mid-May of this year which was like four or five months ago that's when I started up again and then you know within two months two two or three months I started applying and then it took like a month and a half to actually get the job so whether you're new or you've been in the game for a little while um, all you got to do is put in the work and mm -hmm. after a few months you know start applying and you know just keep at it yeah no that's why I think like you're a great example of like what happens when you know, you, cause we all have this feeling of like, we want to do this. We want to get in, right. We want to get into this industry, mm -hmm. but then sometimes it's like life happens or, you know, maybe you try to service or you try to program, maybe it doesn't fit. Like there's people that come here to code and and maybe this doesn't fit for them. Right. And that's fine. Right. You'll find wherever it's the, the right place for you to learn, maybe you, uh, the right setting. Right. Um, but just know that you, you, you cannot quit. Because if you want to do this, you can do it. There's no excuse to be like, oh, they're not going to hire me because of this. They're not going to hire me because of that. No, if you can do the job, there's a job for you. There's so many jobs outside right now. It's crazy. And they cannot be filled because there's not enough people that have the skills. That's the thing that people have to understand. This idea that they think in their head like, Oh, the industry saturated. That's why they got to go and hire people in other countries and companies want to go in and hire people in other countries because they want to pay less. Nah, that's not the truth. The truth is that there's not enough people here in the United States that can actually fill all the jobs that's out there. Okay. Because people, even if they go to college or they go and learn something online, they're not prepared for work. They're prepared to pass the test in school. They're prepared for doing a little to-do app. But what a business needs, most people can't even do. You get what I'm saying? So that's something that, you know, if you really want this, you could get in here, man. Um, but yeah, man, let me see who else is in here. Who we got? Uh, we got Kevin J. What's go? Kevin J. Okay. What's, what's popping, bro? What's going on, Junkie? Yeah, yeah I hear you. What's going on, AY2? Yeah, I just want to hop on here real quick, man. So I'm kind of stuck because so I currently work for a startup, mm -hmm. right? And you know, the startup culture, they want you to work way more hours than what they're paying you for. Mm -hmm. So I also got a Shopify gig, you know, doing something for an agency, which mm -hmm. is like 30 hours a week. But where I'm torn is I'll, you know, do my nine to five startup BS. And then once I get the coding for the agency, I'm halfway like burnt out, you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? And then vice versa, it's like now I'm like, man, I really want to go full time into Shopify and get away from the startup. So mm -hmm. I'm kind of torn in between the two because it's like, I don't know, man. I, <laughs> I, my focus is gone from the startup. I'm like, forget y'all. I want to <laughs> Shopify because this is where it's at. But mm -hmm. I don't know. So yeah, just so to get your opinion on that. It's one of those situations where, you know, in one place, you're like, okay, I, I started here or I, I was working here, right? But then now with time, you start realizing, it's like, yo, hold on. Y'all got me working to seven at night. Y'all got me yeah. working. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I came in at, at nine o'clock this morning. I came in at eight. What's going on? Like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like and that's the problems with, with startups because it's like um, they try to maximize on, on the skills of the talent and be like, yo, how much can we get out of them? Because we're yeah. trying to get to this, this, this application, this idea, this project, this service, we're trying to complete it as soon as possible. But then again, it's like, then you get burnt out and then you're like, do I really want to be doing this? You know, that's why a lot of times in, in startups, people come in and out, you know, 
It's not like a, a, in a startup, you you rarely see somebody be like, well, I've been here for two, three years. It's, it's usually like, yo, I came here six months ago. I just got here, da, da, da. I, I've been here a year. Most people don't even stay there that long because of, uh, of that. Um, but then now you're doing Shopify and you're seeing like, oh, there's more potential. One, because, you know, you're enjoying probably the work, uh, probably the workflow, um, yeah. you know, and also too, you're seeing the potential of like, okay, I could work here, do this gig, work with this company. And then at the same time, I'm learning how to do things that I could go and make money on my own, yeah. which will take you out of the whole rat race of like, let me do my little nine to five every day. And it's like, yeah, and thank it's the you, same sir. thing over yeah. and over. And I'm like, I'm tired of that, man. And with the Shopify, you know, the agency I've been working, I did like three or four or five different things, you know, working with mm -hmm. so many different stuff. And I'm like, man, I'd rather do this shit as opposed to just the everyday grind and, you know, add more to it. Like, oh, we need you to work more hours. I'm like, oh, you already got enough. So I don't know. <laughs> you already got it. Yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to throw that in there, though, Joe. For real, for real. Appreciate you, though, man. Because when yeah, I came yeah. out the military, went to boot camp, found you like three weeks into boot camp, man. And look, changed my life ever since because boot camp wasn't cutting it at that point. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, where you me. from, Kevin? I'm where from Chicago, from? West Side. Yeah. Yeah. Shout yeah. out, man. Yeah, you know what? <laughs> That's what's up, man. I like Chicago. Chicago's just like New York. Like, <laughs> yeah, I ain't been to NY, man, but that's not here. That's yeah, here. Chicago's just like New York. There's times I'll be looking at movies and I'm like, yo, that look like Bushwick. Next thing you know, it's like, <laughs> nah, that's that's like uh South Side, that's old block. I'm like, yo, what the hell? Like, I thought that was Bushwick, I thought that was Wyckoff. And it's like, nah, man, that's that's old block. <laughs> uh, yeah, now, but, for sure. Um, but yeah, man, definitely. I'm glad that we could help. Right. Like, that's what for I'm sure. here for. It's like, I always tell people, you know, uh, Tina asked me before, it's like, oh, I don't know what happened this morning, but you motivated me. Yeah. That's what we're here for. I'm just here to help people out. And this is why I like, look how the dynamic is so different in here. Like, you know what yeah. I mean? Like anybody yeah, yeah. can come in here and, you know, people that that's I know love. that that's love it. And, and we're here for a reason. Everybody that's here, they're trying to get their bag. They're trying to learn something. They're trying to get into the game. And that's what I'm here for. Like, I don't mind doing this live streams. I could stay here for five, 10 hours if people wanted me to. But if we're going to go in and do something productive or we're going to go and help each other or if we're going to motivate each other, I'm willing to be here all day. You get what I'm saying? So, um, like, I don't mind it. So definitely, man, I appreciate that you're here and we could help you out. And I'm glad that, you know, on your journey in the beginning, we, we, you know, we, we, we brought you in. So then you started doing Shopify with Coding Face or you started doing it on your own? Uh, so I started previously while I was still in the military, mm -hmm. when I was just like kind of, you know, doing the drag and drop mm -hmm. shit, building stores for people, mm -hmm. the basic, like the customer side. Mm -hmm. But then once I started like teaching myself my like HTML, CSS, I kind of fell off, went to boot camp once I got out and then picked you back up. And I'm like, damn. So, you know, so it all kind of went full circle mm -hmm. to be for real, for real. But I don't do nothing related to e-commerce Shopify with my gig. So I'm mm -hmm. like, man, I'm trying to get away from that because... Yeah, they won't weigh too much. Yeah, and, and the thing is also too, since you already come from that background, like you've done it before, like yeah. so, you know, you should also like look into. I mean, I don't know if, like, you know, like setting up your own shop where you could start like setting people's whole stores and be like, hey man, I'll I'll set up your whole store and create a whole custom theme for you. You get what I'm saying? So, so like that, right. you could get on Etsy, get on 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 Fiber. Uh, check the, the Upwork. There's a, a couple of other places. Uh, just search Shopify and search Marketplace on, on Google. And there should be like a whole bunch of lists of places where you could go in because you already have experience with Shopify as a, you know, as a seller, as like the, the, the customer side of things. So you could go in and just by you setting up the, the, the Shopify website for somebody, that's a quick, you know, $1,000, $2,000 just to set it up, not even to do anything on it. Now that's when you throw the extra 1500 for the custom theme. And you'd be like, that's a $3,500 gig. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Hell you know, yeah. get I your bag, that. you know, while you're still doing that other gig there or whatever you decide. But my advice, if you decide to quit the, the startup or anything like that, just do it when you, when you feel you're ready. When you already have a nice little bag stashed that you could say, you know what? 
if I'm going to leave this job, I'm not going to miss it. Because sometimes people be like, oh, I want to jump ship now, but they weren't prepared. Like what happens if, you know, you can't find a, a, a next gig or you can't find a job. Um, at least this, you, you're getting paid right now. You get what I'm saying? Always have a guarantee of like, you either going to get a next job or you already have a nice clientele where your money's not going to drop, where you're going to be stressed. So that's why I always tell people, you know, if you planning on jumping ship, just keep keep track of that. You know, oh. uh, that's like what I did when I quit my job in 2017. I was like, yo, I'm out of here. And I'm not looking back. Like I had a little stash like fucking I was like, I'm good yeah. for like the next two, three years. But that gave me the freedom to focus on what I need to focus on without being stressed. But yeah. I've been in situations where I left jobs like in 2014, I left a job and I had just um, I had just bought a car and then I quit the job and thinking that I was going to get a um, another position right away. And then for like it took me about two weeks but for one week. I was sweating bullets. I was like, oh, shit, I got to pay this car. I got to. And I just went to Atlantic City. Like, I I, I blew my money thinking that I was going to get this thing by the end of the week. And, it, and I was going to have the next check. But I was like, oh, shoot. I'm like, I'm looking at myself. I got, you know, a thousand dollars in my bank account. I'm like, hold on. I got a new car. I got to pay for it. I got to do this and that. And I'm like, yo. So that's one thing that I learned. I was like, okay, if you're about to quit your job or you're about to move on to something, like half a nice little pillow. So even if it, it takes you six months or whatever it might be, you could just relax, you know? Yeah, yeah, most definitely. That's love, Joe. Appreciate it. I'll definitely. let somebody else get on there. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Take care, bro. Yeah, yeah, you too. Uh, let me see. Who else is in here? Uh, ATL Andre. What's good, Andre? No, I was uh, trying to uh, piggyback off of what I think his name was Peter was saying. Mm -hmm. He was like, you know, I'm he was like new or restarting or whatever. And I'm just like, I mean, this is a great place to be, man. Like if you're if you starting, you want to be in an environment where people know what they're doing, you know, and, and of different levels. You know, mm -hmm. you got people starting, you got people in the middle, you got people advanced mm -hmm. and, you know, you can just piggyback off of everybody because, you know, the people you're around, you know, they shape your environment and that's just going to push you in the direction that you're trying to go. So, yeah, I mean, I feel like I kind of feel like I'm starting over because I did a, a boot camp back in 2017 through 2018. Mm -hmm. And then but I never actually got a job because I went into a video production and, you know, that I found out that just wasn't for me. Video editing. I hated it. Mm -hmm. So I came, I'm coming back here. I'm kind of going through from the very beginning, mm -hmm. learn like HTML, CSS, even though I kind of know it, but like, I'm learning stuff from you. Like, I didn't know what is it, BEM? Is that what it's called? Mm -hmm. I had no idea that it existed. They don't teach that anywhere. And it's, it's awesome, mm -hmm. you know, and it's little things like that. So that's why I started from the beginning. But I mean, this is a place to be, man, because everybody's helping. This isn't like Stack Overflow or Reddit when you ask a question and everybody mm. cuts you out. Like, how dare you not understand? Yeah. It's like, people <laughs> want to help you out. You know? Yeah. It's like, you don't know what that means? You don't know what a double equals and a triple equals is? Oh, no. How, he dare, yeah. <laughs> how dare you? How dare you ask on this? <laughs> yeah, like, like as if the platform is not for that. Like, it's for <laughs> if we're asking questions. Yo, people are crazy. Yeah. That, that's that's how it used to be for me like when i used to be like on a like a teen tree house a forum they used to take me out all the time because i used to get pissed off you, you know how i am um and i just get pissed because i'm like yo i ask a beginner question and then they'll be like they'll be like oh you should have asked this uh you know you should have somebody said some stupid shit like rewind the video like you didn't even give me, you didn't give me no answer. You didn't tell me you didn't give me no guidance, no reference. Hey, check out this. Just rewind the video. And I'm like, mm -hmm. bro, like, that's not what I want to hear. Like I, I'm asking because I don't understand it. I exactly. watched the video two, three times already. Yeah. You know, what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, so yeah, at least give me the timestamp. Somebody said in the chat. <laughs> uh, but yeah, man, that, that's the good thing about uh, this community, man. I, I'm, I'm really glad that we got this here. And I feel like we got a good workflow now. And even this, like how we're going to be doing this live streams, you know, um, uh, you know, I always do my web developer live streams 
even on the go. But even with the Zoom calls, I could go in and set this up exactly the same way how I do it on YouTube. And then from there, we upload the replay. At the end of the day, I want to bring more people into this, more into uh, the community. Um, but uh, again, this is going to be very cool because, again, we're going to have situations like this where you guys can just jump in and and share what's going on with, with you guys. So it's not just like, okay, it's just about me because this, this is a community channel. Like, yeah, it's Joe here, but Joe's like, a, I'm like a moderator. Like people come in here like, acting like a, like I'm like the face of this. I'm like, no, I'm not. I'm, I'm just a dude that's here. I'm putting my little grain of salt into it. But this is for all of us. Like this whole platform, everything that we do here is for all of us. And and um and like that, we could help each other. We could collaborate. We could find the new teammates. I just saw the other day on the community tab um, that people are, are searching for uh, to create their own developer agency, and they're looking to to build a team. So look. That's how it is. Like you might know front end, another guy might know back end, another guy might uh, know Shopify. Build your own agency. Keep it, you know, keep it moving and and and, and create from there, right? Um, that's what the community is for. Uh, but yeah, man, let me see where Mohammed see was good before we head out of here. Uh, shout out to Wally. Wally. Look at your boy Wally out here. Wally always he's just chilling, man, with the OD setup. Like, <laughs> I'm so jealous. I'm like, yeah, Wally got a, a legit setup. It's like, you would think Wally is the YouTuber. You know what I'm <laughs> So it's crazy, man. Um, but let me see who else is in here. Muhammad, I think Muhammad had his hands up. What's good, Muhammad? You wanted to say something before we head out of here? Hey, Joe, how are you? What's good? What's good? How's everything? Good, good. Thank you. Well, thank you. Uh, I just want to uh, take a moment to uh, not necessarily harp on anything negative or so, or or take you back to uh, not so <laughs> comfortable moments. But uh, I I just want to really, uh, you know, if you haven't already heard it from so many people, uh, uh, honestly say uh, thank you for for all that you do, uh, for keeping things uh, real, and um, you know, like uh, at least giving. Uh, us all uh, a hope uh, and uh, you know sort of a pathway to hopefully uh, better ourselves so um, I really honestly want to thank you for that yeah. and um, um, I, I know I have <laughs> you know a lot like of course we all have a uh, lot of things to learn uh, but for me uh, you know just uh, going back to what Peter was saying earlier uh, you know Peter like I, I'm a complete beginner I'm the I'm the B in beginner so you know if I, <laughs> You know, don't don't feel bad about uh, you know being new uh, because uh, there's always someone behind you, and that will most yep. likely be me. Uh, yeah. But uh, yeah, so um, you know, just uh, I think you're you know a great place. It's it's a pleasure to connect with you and uh, everyone uh, in this uh, uh, community. And uh, the um, last thing I want to say is uh, just like uh, Andre said, um, Peter, like uh, you know, I I feel very overwhelmed uh, by like not only just uh, this community, but uh, um, also the material that uh, Joe has so, uh, you know, hardly worked uh, for, uh, on for all of us. Um, so there's a lot to learn. Um, so I, I definitely feel very overwhelmed, but to just like Andre said, um, you know, like uh, where would you rather be than, than be in a place where there's like like-minded people and there's always like all levels of, uh, you know, like knowledge and expertise. Yes, it can be overwhelming because, you know, you feel like, oh, geez, I don't know anything. And, you know, what, what are these guys talking about? You know, it's just, uh, you know, um, it, it can be uh, very uh, tough to sort of like uh, consume. Uh, but uh, I would say like, you know, don't give up hope, um, you know, just keep trying. And uh, like, I'm just so thankful that I'm, I'm part of this community. So uh, yeah. that's all I wanted to say. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Muhammad, thank you for your words, kind words. You know, I, I, I tell people um, like yesterday, you know, I posted it on Twitter. I said, hey, man, I'm done. I'm not doing live streams. This isn't that. All right. And it's off like frustration, because, again, when I come in here, you know, you could think anything that you want about me. Right. You could say, well, this guy selling courses, this guy, this and that. I was just like you guys. If you go back into a, there's a video that I have where I talk about the top 10 programming uh, programming channels <clears throat> in 2017. 
I was just like you guys in the sense of shit. I, I didn't like simple programmer. I didn't like level up touch. Right. And it was because I was like, man, this guy's they're promoting their own platform. They're selling the courses. But once I got into this thing and I realized, you know what? Everything costs money for me to pay for hosting, for me to pay for this service, this or Zoom calls, everything that has to do with me trying to help people is costing me money. I was spending money for, you know, buying giveaways for Udemy courses. I was spending about $600 a month just giving away courses on every freaking video. And I realized, I'm like, okay, this is not sustainable. How can I go in and, and do all the stuff that I'm doing and also to invest into the community and still not get anything back, right? At some point, you still, you're going to have to make some money. That's just how it is. O unless you're rich. If I was rich, trust me, this shit will be a hundred percent uh, you know, free, but I'm not rich. I'm just a regular dude, just like you guys trying to make a difference out here. Right. <clears throat> but when I come in here, and I do this, this live streams is really to help people. And now of course, there's always going to be people that's just, they're haters. There's people that they don't have shit going on in their lives. Right. I don't want to say how people that don't have shit going on in their lives, they want to tell other people that are actually active and doing things like what to do or how to, how to whatever make videos or what content to make or what topics to talk about or that they want you to prove that you are the expert. I'm not an expert of anything, but what I do know helps people out. What I do know does get results. I'm not the guy on a conference. I'm not the guy creating a, a library. I'm not that guy. I'm the guy that came in here, learned how to code up by himself, got a freaking job and did freaking seven years straight working for companies. I'm that guy. That's it. And now I'm helping people to get into the game the same way how I did. Right. And that's it. That's all I'm trying to do here. I'm just trying to do something positive and do something cool. Right. Uh, but I really appreciate everybody that reached out to me. Everybody's like, damn, I don't... it's like Joe's looking for a treat. I wasn't looking for a treat, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm good. You get what I'm saying? <laughs> like, <laughs> It was like, just looking for a treat. Like, we got we got to help him. We got to save him. Like, we got to make sure that he's good. Uh, put our, our arms around him. And like, you know, people putting their hands up. Somebody sent me the Kamehameha. Or the, 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 you remember the, the shit from Goku when Goku's like, yo, send me, send me the, the energy. Bomb. The spirit bomb. Dudes is like <laughs> sending me the spirit bomb energy. I'm like, yo, I'm good, guys. I'm having a great day with my kids. Right. Like, <laughs> but my whole thing is like when I come in here I, and I do this live streams and things like that, like I, I want to have fun. I want to enjoy my my community. So now I'm just like, you know what? I did the same thing that I, I did in 2017. 2017, I was doing a lot of tutorials, a lot of things. Nobody was doing them. No one cared about them. Right. But then I said, you know what? I'm just going to put all my tutorials, all my courses in codingphase.com. Now to this day. People come in and finish every single course. And people come in and it was, you know, now they put a value to it and they say, okay, cool. I enjoy this. I, I really like this, this, this content. Same thing that we're doing in 2021. The live streams we're doing on, on YouTube, we started that. No one else was doing live streams on YouTube. But at the same time, by me being on YouTube and the type of content that I create, I can't do content where somebody is like, I'm just talking to myself. I don't like doing live streams like that. I like to do it in, in, in interactivity with you guys, going, reading your comments, reading your, your questions, going back and forth. That's what I like about live streams, right? Now, when I'm reading through my live streams, I'm going through like five, six messages and their questions, I'm answering them. I still got to go through the negative questions, the dumb comments and the dumb things. And then at the end of the day, I realized and I've been noticing that that most of my live streams, one of the reasons why I do delete them is because I have to come in and be cursing at somebody. I got to come in and, 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 and curse some dude off. And I'm like, I wake up in the morning with a smile on my face. Why do I come in here to come and get pissed off? So then now I'm like, you know what? Now we're filtering those people out. Those people that's trolls, those people that are haters, 
those people are not part of the community. Those people do not represent what this community is. This is random people that don't have shit going on. They're searching HTML. And next thing you know, it pops up on the side, web developer live, pops in, comes in and says, oh, who is this guy, right? They don't know who I am. They don't know what the community is about. And then now they leave their, it's like a dog that you bring a dog. So you, you, you took a day out, right? The date came home. She brought a puppy and the puppy took a shit in, in the middle of your living room. And then now she left. And then you're like, yo, who's going to pick that shit up? That's what these dudes do. You get what I'm saying? Like they come in, take a shit in the middle of the living room. And now we got to go pick it up and, 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 and act like we're going to have a good date after that. No, of course not. Right. So I realized I was like, you know what? I'm not going to. Uh, be doing that uh, content no more. And I'm going to do it here with my community. People enjoy seeing us live. And this is going to be even better. This live stream is going to be even better because now you're seeing the whole community in here being part of it. Like, this is cool. I like this idea of having everybody here. Uh, Wally could just jump in. Andre could just jump in. Um, Halam could jump in. Billy could jump in. Tina can jump in, right? Like, it's not just coding face is like yo this is the coding face community you get what i'm saying and we do this web developer lives um every day at 12 o'clock there's gonna be days that we can't do it every day but i call it every day so it's every other day whenever you see us uh we we hear right i'll send out an email i notify everybody ahead of time that we're gonna be doing it um but at the same time people can watch the replay you know if you're watching this right now on youtube yo you're watching the replay and I, I'm, I'm glad that you're here and, and you're enjoying this type of content. Um, I will say this is one of the main reasons why you should want to come join codingphase.com. Again, this wasn't something that I was having planned to be like, well, guys, if you want to come and interact with Joe, you're going to have to pay for a subscription. I didn't have that shit planned. It just, it worked out that way, right? Where I'm like, you know what? At least the people that's here, I know who's here. The people that's interacting with me are people that are, are looking to get jobs or looking to get work. I don't want to interact with people that's just random people or people that don't even know if they want to do this, right? So at least this is a, a great way for me, uh, you know, to just have a great time while still doing this because I've been doing this for four years. It's like, it's either I quit YouTube and quit all of those things or do it this way how I'm doing it right now because right now I'm, I'm enjoying myself. Like I haven't been mad. I haven't freaking cursed nobody out. We freaking had a very productive live stream. Everything that we talked about was on point. We 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 basically went over all of the points that I have here that I'm like, I wanted to talk about. Shoot, we had a good live stream. You get what I'm saying? So it's a success, okay? Now, again, like I said, if you want to come in and you want to hang out with, you, uh, with, with, with your boy, you want to ask, ask some questions, you want to uh, come in, part, be part of the community, Best thing that you could do is become a member of codingface.com. You get access to all the courses. You get access to all the live streams, all the, the, the events that we do here. Um, you know, Sunday nights, uh, accountability meetings, which are more in depth to the people that is, you know, in the community and, and helping them out uh, to get into jobs and, and creating, uh, you know, creating custom uh, pathways for them to get to their goals. And then we have this at 12 o'clock almost every day. These are just like meetings, hanging out. You know, this is the same coding phase web developer live streams that we had, but now with the community, right? Uh, so again, if you want to come in and you want to learn about coding phase, come check out the website, codingphase.com. We're doing a lot of cool things in here. Uh, we always the first one. I wouldn't be surprised that people start doing the same thing that I'm doing now, um, but it is what it is. Come check it out. 20 bucks, you get access to everything that, that's in here. Uh, as far as like the programming courses, the yearly subscription is the best one. And if you click on the description, you get 20% off, okay? Now, again, if you like the content here, there's no better way to support the channel. I don't need a super chat. I don't need a donation. What I need for you is to give us the opportunity to help you get on your journey. That's it. It's like, instead of you coming in, I don't need nobody to come in and be like, yo, Joe, here's $20 donation. I don't need a donation. Put me to work. Put me to work for you. Put me to, to get you into your, your goals. That's it. That's what I'd rather do. I, I, everything that I do, I earn it. I don't come in and be like, I don't beg nobody for nothing. And, and that's one thing that if you've met me from the beginning, you know that I work hard for everything that I do. 
Okay. No one else has as many courses as I do. No one else provides as much value as I do. And no one comes in here, does these things that we do here at this price at all. There's people that's charging, even just to be talking to somebody, the people are charging like $2,000. People come in and teach you one course and charging $2,000. One JavaScript course, $1,000. One Shopify course, some basic shit for $2,000, $3,000. So again, we're doing this at basically what I call crackhead prices. This is like me just like at the bare minimum to make sure that we just able to pay the light bill and that's it. You know, um, but again, this is the community. It is what it is. Thank you, Mohammed. Uh, thank you, Wally, for coming through. Thank you, Tina. Okay. Uh, everybody that's in here, I really appreciate it. You know, we got the whole squad. It, it was a nice little little turnaround uh group, right? Um, I don't know who's this in the corner. Uh Pradeep, and <laughs> we got Pradeep Orlando, Irazo, who else? Jose, Brian. Antoine, uh, Karen, Dave, Dan, we had a lot of people coming in. Again, guys, if you want to be part of codingface.com, you can come in, subscribe to the channel, you get access to uh, this private uh, events, and, and yeah, you could hang out with your boy. Uh, this has, I believe, a, a maximum of 5,000 uh, users that we could have on one live stream, so come in first come, first serve. I'm pretty sure this event is going to start uh, picking up. And a lot of you guys is going to start coming in uh, to this live streams. Okay. So anyways, guys, I'm going to see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again. CodingPhase.com. Peace.